Welcome back to another episode of Storytime Miss Brower. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about Banana Republic. Not Banana Republic, the t-shirt company, but Banana Republic, the countries that entire economy was based on the production of bananas. And we're going to talk about one company that owned all the banana production in the country of Guatemala. And that company is called the United Fruit Company. The United Fruit Company owned all the banana production and most of the fruit production in the country of Guatemala. We're located here. And the country of Guatemala gave the United Fruit Company huge tax cuts. Uh, such huge tax cuts that Guatemala itself couldn't provide basic services for the people, like roads, for example. Now, the United Fruit Company decided that, hey, that they would, uh, they would, they would take care of that. They would build the postal services, the telephone lines, railroads, roads, and shipping that the country of Guatemala needed. So they built all that for them. You might think, well, that's really nice of them to build all that for the government of Guatemala for free. No, that's not quite what the United Fruit Company did. Once they built all that stuff, they then said, hey, every time you use a telephone now, uh, you pay us. So they owned all that stuff in Guatemala and then made a profit on all, those, on all that. Eventually that starts to change though. In the year in the 1950s, the President Arbenz takes over in Guatemala and he introduces a couple of government forms. First, he makes it so you have to pay minimum wage to your workers. Next, everyone could vote, so universal suffrage. And third, he took away land that wasn't being used by a United Fruit Company and then gave it to people who didn't have land. So that way they could actually have you know, a job and make money. And the United Fruit Company didn't like this very much because the more human rights that people have, the less profit they can make. So in the 1950s, they talked to the President of the United States at the time period, which was Eisenhower, and complained to him about it. And they told Eisenhower that they're having to pay minimum wage and they're having land is being taken away from their business and being given to the people. And obviously, at this time period, the only type of people in the 1950s that would, you know, have minimum wage and give land to the people were communists. And we couldn't allow that to happen. That'd be terrible. So we gave a bunch of money and weapons to a person who was against our mess. He overthrew the government and then took over his dictator. And then throughout the next, you know, couple of decades, we kept on supporting various dictators. So that way, there wouldn't be any communists in charge of Guatemala, because you can't have that. And you might think, well, I've never heard of United Fruit Company, so I guess it's a good thing that they aren't around anymore. Well, that's not quite true. In the year, year 1970, the United Fruit Company changed their name from the United Fruit Company to Chiquita Banana. So, uh, Chiquita Bananas. High in potassium, low in human civil rights. 